Jocelyn Sia here with Ladies Who Vaughn. Welcome back! In today's video, I thought I would take you guys on an adventure. Last week, I had the opportunity to attend the No Time to Die behind the scenes exhibition Vernissage at the Leica Gallery in Los Angeles. The event itself was free but required online registration, and by the time I had found out, it was already sold out. But shout out to Lorenzo of Omega Bond Watches on Instagram. He had extra tickets and unfortunately couldn't make it, so I went for him. Thanks, man. Sorry you couldn't make it. Wish he could have been there. I thought I would share my experience with you guys, especially those who are unable to get to a like a gallery. This exhibition is currently going on at the Los Angeles Gallery until October 11th, 2021 pretty much just after the movie comes out, hopefully, and it is also concurrently running at the Leica Gallery stores in Frankfurt, London, Seoul, Singapore, Taipei, Salzburg, Vienna, and Tokyo. In Osaka, the exhibition won't begin until November. So getting back, it was a bit of a drive for us. Lots of love to my husband who was a trooper in Southern California traffic. I actually live about an hour or more away from Los Angeles, depending on the traffic gods. So I thought it would be fun to share a time lapse of the journey. This part is pretty much getting off the freeway and getting through Los Angeles on a Thursday evening during rush hour. <laughs> fun times. The Leica Gallery itself is in West Hollywood, right on the border of Beverly Hills. Uh, it's a little bit hard to get to and Either way you go, there's no direct access from the freeway, which requires all of us to drive through all of Los Angeles. So, <laughs> I guess you hear us talking about traffic all the time, but it's kind of true. I'd like to take a few moments here to say that if you like the content I've created so far or like this video, please take the time to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. If you are already following me, thank you so much for your support. All of your comments and kind words really help me keep going with my personal endeavors into the world of James Bond. If you are not already following me on Instagram, please check me out at Ladies Who Bond. Um, I also have a video on there already that was an impromptu live stream that I had saved while visiting the Leica Vernissage event. And I'm um, looking forward to more content in the near future as the movie is coming out, as well as uh, Bond in Motion coming to Los Angeles. Yay! Finally stuff for people on the West Coast! The Leica Gallery itself is two stories, with the store downstairs and the gallery upstairs. There was a pretty cool car that was parked out in front when we arrived, and when you come through the doors here you can see um, there was lots of people milling around, and I think a lot of the people downstairs were all Leica camera owners, and it seemed like there were lots of people who were interested in purchasing cameras or interacting with the staff. So immediately, just to the left of the, the entrance, is these beautiful illuminated stairs that takes you up to the second floor. And the gallery takes up the entire floor. Um, the gallery was full of all sorts of people in attendance, Bond fans, photographers, photography enthusiasts, a couple of oddballs. Uh, it was really fun people watching, to be honest. Uh, someone even decided to bring this adorable double O dog in a handsome tuxedo. Here, uh, there was this picture of Ra Ray Fiennes and Daniel Craig. And then they also had a display for, of the Leica Q2 007 Edition camera with a globe trotter suitcase. It was pretty cool to see. So going through all of the pictures here, um, all 25 pictures were curated by Michael G. Wilson and a combination of four different photographers, Michael G. Wilson, Daniel Craig, Nicola Dove, who is the main set um, archivist, and Greg Williams. And I was quite surprised that a lot of these photos, they were really nice, and 
they didn't spoil anything for the movie. As, as some people might know me, I'm kind of a big stickler for spoilers at the moment just because I'm waiting for this movie to come out. But some of these photos were quite unique and just being, you could really feel uh, what these photographers were feeling and really capturing the moment. I really like this one. This one's one of my favorites. The sound guy just out in the middle of nowhere. Um, quite a few of the photos that were taken by Daniel Craig actually kind of surprised me quite a bit. He uh, has a pretty good photography eye. <laughs> so I just want to apologize for the quality of these photos. I mean I took these photos with my camera but a lot of these photos you can actually find floating around the internet already so but you know for the people who can't make it to the gallery I thought hopefully these will whet your appetite for the new movie coming out. There were quite a few photos of Daniel Craig obviously and I think the next most photographed person was Lea Sado. She's got quite a bunch of photos. Um, and I think of all the photos, Matera is the one that is promoted the most, or shot the most. Um, I want to say maybe half the photos were all in Matera, and the rest of it was kind of everyone, everyone and everywhere else. There were quite a few photos on the cars, of the cars, um, which I thought was pretty cool. It's really nice that all of these photos are available. Um, I feel like this is the first time that we've ever really gotten something special and curated to this extent. But maybe I think, you know, with waiting this long for a movie that that they thought maybe we should share all the things that they've they have been doing. Here's me taking an artistic photo <laughs> of a photo. <laughs> I really like this photo of Carrie. You can see the Henley that he's wearing. Every single guest who attended the Vernissage was gifted a copy of issue number seven of the Leica Photography International magazine. In this magazine, there is an article about the No Time to Die behind the scenes exhibition, as well as some information on the Leica Q2 007 edition camera. I'd like to share some excerpts from this magazine to help paint a better picture of what the exhibition is like. All of these things are written by Michael G. Wilson. James Bond producer Michael G. Wilson offers a personal insight into his love of photography and explains the thought process behind his selection of 25 images from behind the scenes of the 25th official Bond movie, No Time to Die, all of which are shot on Leica cameras. The idea for the exhibition was born from conversation I had with Leica's London archivist Lou Proud during the production of No Time to Die. When we realized we had four accomplished photographers snapping away on set who could capture behind the scene moments with Leica cameras, Greg Williams, Nicola Dove, Daniel Craig, and myself, we realized we had the makings of an exhibition. With Ella's help, we have assembled a portfolio of 25 images showing work by all four photographers. We created portfolios of which four are artist proofs, one is for Eon Archive, and the final one is for sale at the Bonn Auction in Autumn 2022. When curating the profile, I opted for black and white images in the traditional style. Leica cameras and lenses produce excellent results in this medium. Each photographer not only brought their unique vision to the project, but also a personal relationship to the subject. 
Daniel Craig has a very particular eye, and after pouring his heart and soul into five Bond films, has developed a deep connection to our crew. Hence, he has taken some wonderful behind-the-scenes shots focused on the people who helped us bring Bond to life. Greg Williams is, of course, a world-renowned photographer who has worked with us on Bond for many years. He knows how to get in there and grab the picture that wins awards. Nicola Dove is on set full-time to document the making of the film. She is forever watching for those special moments which she captures magnificently. I just snap at anything that moves. Each photographer has a very different style, but with Leica cameras, I feel that we are all speaking with one voice. I hope you enjoy what we have to say. For those who may be curious, I believe that this issue might be available to purchase online. It isn't available for purchase at the moment, but gathering from their website, I think it will be in the near future. So keep an eye out. Their website is lfi-online.de and hopefully people who would like a copy can go and purchase it. Thanks for joining me on this small adventure. If you had a chance to check out the exhibition, I would love to hear your thoughts. Until next time, Bond friends. Mm -hmm.